call Joanne Hayes. Thank you very much. And I rise to take a very short call on this wonderful bill. I want to thank the Greens, Gareth Hughes. Um, I've had to endure watching and sitting in this house, listening to a whole lot of dribble um, from across the opposition benches. Mr Speaker, I commend this wonderful bill to the House. Members, members, this debate has concluded. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Uh, is this a point of order? Um, it is a point of order. That's why I put uh, point of order in front of my request. The Right Honourable Winston Peters. Mr Speaker, I call for a personal vote at the beginning of my speech because, as I say... No, no. Well, this is the process. Let me explain the process. I've told you whip this. The member will sit. The member will sit. The member will sit. The whip came and asked me the process. I told the whip what the process was, and the process is if the party wishes to call for a personal vote, I put the vote as I'm doing now, and when I get to the stage of asking for those contrary to the vote, a party has the right to say they call for a personal vote. At that stage, the party calls for a personal vote, and I will adjudicate on it at that stage. That's the process. I'll start it again. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Aye. No, it's, all right, personal Speaker. vote. Now, personal vote has been called for by the New Zealand First Party. The, uh, this bill has not been subject to personal votes during the course of the first, second reading or the committee stages. I see no need to have a personal vote on this matter. The votes have been quite conclusive over the period of, the, of this urgency debate. And on that basis, and I refer to the, the party to, to uh, uh, standing order 144, uh, that's the, the uh, uh, standing order that is the relevant one in this case, and I'm not prepared to accept a personal vote. Uh, point of order, Mr. right honour, Winston. Mr. Peters. Speaker, I w I'm well aware of the uh, standing order uh, and past procedures, but there has rarely been, in my experience, a debate on this matter where so many members have openly and on the Hansard record stated their personal. Hang on, can I just finish? No, no. Off, well, that's, that's, I've already ruled. The member will sit. No, no. The member will sit. The member will sit. It is the speaker who decides whether there will be a personal vote. And let me read it out. I quoted the number. Speaker's ruling, uh, standing order rather, 144. A personal vote may be held following a party vote, and that's the process we're at now, if a member requests one and the speaker considers that the decision on the party vote is so close that a personal vote may make a material difference to the result. As I mentioned earlier, and I've presided over much of this debate and the readings and the committee stages, is that there hasn't been close votes. It's been very, very clear. And on that basis, I'm not prepared to accept a personal vote. That's the end of the matter, and I'm now proceeding with the vote. So the question is that the, the order, we're having a vote. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. A party vote has been called for. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 32 votes in favour. Green Party. 14 votes in favour. New Zealand First. 12 votes opposed. Māori Party. 2 votes in favour. Act New Zealand. 1 vote in favour. United Future. 1 vote in favour. Members, the ayes are 109, the noes are 12. The motion is agreed to. Uh, members, the, members, the business accorded urgency is now concluded. New Zealand Flag Referendums Amendment Bill, third reading. The House now moves to orders set down for the extended sitting. And I call on Government Order of the Day number seven.